Hey everyone, so today is the last day and we're watching Coco Melon. We are watching Coco Melon, so sorry about the background noise, but we are getting ready to go to the hospital later tonight. Bye. Or I guess you could say early in the morning. Bye. Yeah, he's in better spirits today or tonight, but still a little clingy still a little nasally Ooh, Coco Melon. my mom has been really helpful to be able to take um, a few nights off so she can help watch Lincoln while new and I will be in the hospital um, yeah doing my <laughs> c-section -sur surgery so I know you won't get to see mommy for a few days but he's been super clingy he's more attached to his daddy these last few days because he's been sick and so he'll be fine without me he I think he's gonna miss his daddy a little bit more because his daddy has been able to hold him and cuddle him well with this whole pregnancy it's been hard to do that with him huh <laughs> You don't want to be on camera. Alright, someone is ready for the surgery. I am the doctor today. <laughs> so they finally hooked me up to the IV. 11 30 2022 7 7 40 a.m and they just took now to go get her anastasia and once she's all numbed up they'll bring me in so baby number two coming out pretty soon hopefully by 8 a.m or a little bit after 8 a.m super excited Three hours after baby Wesley is born, <coughs> mommy's hungry. Mommy is eating the Hmong chicken diet. Uh, whole chicken with chicken herbs and white rice. <coughs> He's still numb. So she's still a little bit numb. So maybe another two hours and she'll start feeling her lower body. <coughs> mm. Mm. 
hungry. At least finish the whole, all the chicken and half of the rice can save it for later. So right now, you know why last time you were swollen? Mm -hmm. What from the side effects? Well, from because I had preeclampsia, <clears throat> and like my last trimester with Lincoln, I was so swollen. But this time, not as swollen. Barely. <coughs> so these are the formula. These only last one hour. So once they start drinking it, if they don't finish it. <coughs> Uh, within one hour since opening, you have to throw her away. So, so this is our little, this is our hotel here, our hospital hotel. Look at the bathrooms, bathrooms and showers. How's the daddy bed? Horrible. They should have a gym here. I think they do, but it's only for workers, employees. And gym for all the waiting fathers. <laughs> all the boring fathers. All the fathers who have to stay and are bored. Um, sorry, no. <sighs> we need you guys, okay? We need the assistance. Very, very tired. You're here to assist, all right? Very exhausting work. <laughs> you do not know what exhausting is. Trust me. I'm exhausted because I'm not... There's nothing to do. Just, like, mm -hmm. take care of baby the same routine. I need I'm high energy. I need to do more. Yeah, I know. It's so hard to be a stay-at-home parent. Like the doctor do C-sections. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <coughs> so it is December 1st. Um, right now, the time is currently 10.03. It is day two for us at the hospital. Um, baby is here. Uh, surgery went really well. So um, if, I don't know if we explained it. Did we explain it? This is a, a planned C-section. And so this is my second C-section. And so this morning started off kind of rough. They wanted to put my IV in and all of that stuff. And it was just, it just didn't start off that great. But throughout the surgery, it was, it was good. I had a really great experience <clears throat> with that. And the last, um, the last pregnancy I had, I had a lot of trauma with my epidural, and so I had to be like put down. But this second time around, I get to be awake, so it was just a whole new experience, and it was really cool too to have newbie in there with me. And so we'll probably go into that, maybe some more details into that later on but it was really cool to have him in there and be with me and then for me to be awake throughout the whole time and to hear baby cry and um yeah it was a great experience he definitely is a chunker and so i knew he was gonna be a pretty pretty big baby look at that he's just so tired I'm actually not that tired or as like sleep deprived as I thought I would be. Um, I guess it's true when you are a parent, you know, the second time around, it's not, it's not that bad. It's not as hard as it was the first time because I've gone through it the first time. Um, I've already mentally prepared myself. Um, and so, yeah, I feel happy. I feel um, and good spirits. Oh my god, my hair. I have to fix that. And I haven't been able to shower yet, so I cannot wait to shower. Um, yeah, I could I could probably shower earlier, but I've already... Oh yeah, I know. I'll probably wait until maybe 
Mm, I think, no, I think maybe after my mom and them comes, and then we'll go shower, and then maybe I'll go shower tonight. So yeah, I cannot wait to shower so I can wash my hair. It's all greasy and, you know, it's just the whole giving birth thing. So I can't wait to shower. Um, but I've already done my morning thing, so I'll just wait until afternoon to do all of that. Everything is looking good as far as recovering from surgery. I'm up and walking and um, so far baby's doing really good. He is, he's quite the opposite of what um, we had with Lincoln. He feeds really well. Um, mm, oh yeah, he's been kind of sleeping with me. <laughs> He's been napping with me. He, did, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if when, you know, for the mom was at the hospitals, what your guys' experience is like when with your newborn. But definitely, I mean, those cribs that the newborns, like, sleep in, they're not even really comfortable anyway. So I can't even imagine, like, a newborn really sleeping well in there. So he definitely did not sleep well. So baby Wesley did not sleep well so he's been napping with me on my bed and he's been yeah he was fine he's fine like in my arms napping and you know what that's okay because we're gonna do that anyways we plan on co-sleeping and stuff but I guess it is hard at the hospital especially when me and you are both trying to sleep and he is not really sleeping a good like hour or two just in his little um, bassinet and so but it's fine like I said I've been kind of used to waking up every few hours and so with him power napping with me I'm totally okay and my mental state of mind is so much more better than the last time because the last time was just everything was just a whole new experience and yeah some new things that are some some new experiences this time around is that I do plan on breastfeeding and so it has been a little harder just because I forgot what it's like to hold a newborn so my hand strength is not quite there yet and plus it's hard while I'm recovering my strength isn't a hundred percent so just like trying to learn these positions and see what works and you know to get baby to latch on Maybe I'll talk about my breastfeeding journey after this and see how it goes. But that's pretty much what's new. Other than that, if, you know, I'm having a realistic mindset that, of course, even though I would love to breastfeed, if it's not successful, I mean, I'm not going to try to, I'm not going to give up. But if it really isn't, then it's okay. He, so far, he's been really good with formula feeding and what we believe in is that, you know, a fed baby is a healthy baby. And so, yeah. Any ideas? Anything you want to say, hon? Uh, they change it this year. We can have, um, two. the patient can have me and then two more visitors. But the visitors are only from 11 through 7 p.m. So Mal's mom's going to come in and then Lincoln's going to come in. And then when they leave, you know, two more people can come in. But we're just, <clears throat> we're just expecting my son and my mother-in-law to come in. Last year it was just me only, nobody else, and I was able to leave like once per day. I haven't, I haven't left all day yet or destroyed this whole trip yet because <clears throat> I don't need to. Our our mothers has been bringing in the food for now and stuff. So uh, it's pretty nice if you have visitors and stuff like that, or if you need visitors.
I don't know if we talked about the chicken diet in our last vlog with Lincoln uh, for my first uh, pregnancy, but I guess I'll just do like a little like re I, I'll just like re-explain it if we did talked about it before but of course in like our culture the Hmong culture um the woman is kind of is on kind of like a strict diet I mean you don't have to be on this diet for 30 days but that's kind of what they recommend and us um uh, and what this diet consists of is rice um freshly killed chicken so um and it's not just any kind of chicken it has to be like um soft tender chicken and so if you don't have the time to actually go out to to get your own chicken or have like your in-laws or your mom prepare it for you you can go i've i've heard some people do like quill quill because they're very tender as well you can do quill and even like at your local asian market they've um they even have that accessible now too but you get like a 30-day supply of chicken boil it and then you boil it with like chicken herbs um in our culture we call it chicken herbs but it's just like i don't really know the specifics of what is like in the herbs but there's like quite a few herbs mixed in together um and so it's supposed to just be really good for you and you know you're supposed to eat that you make like a broth and it's simply flavored like salt I don't even think they put like black pepper in there and if they do maybe a little bit but yeah so you eat that for 30 days um and it's just supposed to help uh cleanse your body after birth and everything and that's honestly all I've been craving after this surgery is that, that that's all I've been eating pretty much and a little bit of things here and there I'm not gonna be that strict on just having like three course meals of the boiled chicken some people are but for my mental health, I mean, I love food. I'm not going to, like, junk out, but, like, eating fruits and um, things that, like, eating other kind of soups, you know, just things like that. I'm definitely going to help myself eating other vegetables, maybe a salad or, um, yeah, just things like that. I'm definitely going to help myself to that but I do enjoy the chicken diet I do enjoy like the boiled chicken and the boiled herbs so that would probably be like my main two course meals but other than that I'm not gonna be super strict about it I'm what and because of breastfeeding I think that sometimes it really does depend on what like your diet does affect your breast milk from what I've researched and every baby is different so depending on what you eat your baby could be allergic to certain things and so if you are on a strict diet and say your baby is allergic or he or she doesn't like take on to your breast milk it's you know that's where it could affect it so I'd say as just moms Hmong, Hmong moms, Hmong women, be open-minded to that. But hopefully that's a quick little explanation. Hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Uh, with the C-section, I am trying to slowly get up. So for mamas, you guys know how it is. Or for mamas who um, is going through or went through C-section, you know the struggles of getting up. So... I'm just gonna and this is what the women go through uh, not fun at all so I don't really remember this with the last time like the shortness of breath but because I did go through major surgery and lots of blood loss I think um, I'm just kind of a little bit low on my iron so 
Okay. I'm having a little bit of shortness of breath, so I'm just gonna take it slow. I mean, baby screening looks like it went really well. And so, yeah, he has no issues having plenty of dirty diapers. So, you know what? Mm -hmm, this one's gonna, this one's gonna be a lot of maintenance with diapers, little diapers. Okay, all right, I'm gonna try to get up so I can eat because I am hungry. Okay, all right, I got up. <clears throat> okay, there goes that shortness of breath. Yeah, hopefully, um, yeah, taking iron supplements will help get my blood back up, blood, blood levels back up, and um, yeah, but other than that, it's, there's nothing major or too concerning other than them just, you know, wanting to make sure that I am doing good and everything. I'm recovering well and doing well, but yeah, I'm up and walking. Ooh, okay. Here we are. So my mom's gonna visit us in a bit, so Lincoln will get to see his baby brother soon, so we'll see how he reacts to it because I don't think he's gonna be very happy. He likes to do his eyes like this. My eye. Open. Open both eyes, little boy. And look into the camera and say hello. Eh, eh, eh. Say hello. Ooh. It's too bright, huh? Too bright, daddy. 1027 a.m. Baby has officially baby's officially about 20 26 hours year old. 26 hours old. 26, 27, yep. So first day on earth. Hi. So kissable. So kissable. soft too. Mm, this, this meat is like it's soft. How do you describe it? <laughs> it's like a piece soft of silk. Yeah. Piece soft of nice silk. Cloud of silk. Do you play? You play the lot of shake on her. Need to shine down, eh? She looks in that, eh? Say hi, hello everyone. Say hello. He's up. He's up now, so that's good. Hopefully, he goes to sleep in the next couple hours. Hopefully, he stays up till her mother-in-law to get her. They should be here next thirty minutes. Hopefully, she's gonna get her 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 next thirty minutes.
なんかやっぱいや。This is our room. This patient's bed. This is the doctor's computer for inputting information. And this is pretty much where I've been sleeping. This is a pull-out、uh, futon couch, but I just been sleeping on the way it is because if I was to pull it out, it would take the whole space right here, where a baby's、um, bassinet would be, and then some of the mouse stuff. And I'm pretty simple; I didn't bring too much. Interested in the clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He just misses us. Yeah. <coughs> What's <coughs> that? Go, go play. It's a clock. <laughs> Mommy missed you, baby. <laughs> Mommy missed you. Hello. Daddy missed you. Hello, b e h i n d Yeah, yeah, daddy, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're so heavy. Go heavy, check out the eye. Oh, yeah, she did. Look, I got baby here. Look, baby. It's baby. Hi, I'm in my mina. I know mommy can't hug you right now. Oh, good. He's like, ooh. I know, n u n y a no. When he's in a good mood, he likes to eat his fruits. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, we'll finish your wheels. Heavy. He does like the wheels. n u n y a your wheel next. Look, look. Look, look. Look, look. Look, look. Look, look. Look, look. Just being so childish. Lincoln, where are you? Lincoln.、Yeah. Look, he's running away. Running away from daddy. Come on. Come on. It's so fun. Look, he's all mad now. He's just doing it on purpose. He's just doing it on purpose. He's so mad. He's so mad. He's like, I still want it. Oh, mommy, pull away.
guys. So we are finally discharged from the hospital. Um, my voice sounds really raspy, so I apologize. I am, I don't know if I'm getting sick, but oh my gosh, my I'm losing my voice. My throat is like sore. Baby is in his car seat. He is definitely a little bit of a crybaby. He's, it's all so new to him and he does not like being out of his swaddle and so um, he finally settled down but he cried the whole way through from like walking from the room out into the car so poor little guy is adjusting to to life um, but anyways I just wanted to give you guys an update we are finally heading home so we can get some rest and recover. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Alrighty, honey, how do you feel? Oh my god. So this would have been considered day two after surgery to recover um, and the doctor did recommend me staying one more night um, or highly recommended me to but at this point uh, baby passed all his screenings and for the most part I passed most of mine and you know just making sure they got all my medication and prescription and all that stuff, pain meds. I was a bit low on iron, and so um, that was the only thing that they wanted to make sure that I, after surgery, I really maintain my iron supply after, like, you know, losing so much blood and just going through all of that. So, <clears throat> yeah. And we are just super excited to go home. And obviously, I'm, I'm excited to go home because um, for some reason, our room was like really dry and so new and I started having like dry throat and it is winter and it's super cold. So I guess that doesn't help either. The humidity is pretty dry. And so we just can't wait to be able to uh, be home and see our baby Lincoln and have him enjoy his little brother, get used to his little brother. Oh my Lord, my voice is so raspy. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna say my voice. Well, continue our vlog later on. I just feel like it's getting worse the more I talk. So we will tune you guys in when we're able to uh, when we get a little bit more adjusted. So thank you for tuning in you guys. <laughs>